Hi folks, we are back and Robert here with more Inventor Training and today we're going to create our next pit part and this is going to be what we're going to create. This is going to be our base plate. Pretty simple. So let's go into Inventor and get started. So I want to start new. So standard IPT and then we'll select create. We've done that a hundred times. We all know that. So now we want to do start our 2D sketch. And for this exercise, we're going to select our XC plane. Let's go up top. I always like to do this. So first thing we want to do here for that piece, I always like to work from the center out. So we're going to do the circle that's in the middle. And this circle is one and three quarters inch. Oops, sorry. Okay, and then we have another circle. We have two others just like before. Uh, I'm just draw a circle here. The next one's going to be three eighths of an inch diameter. And we'll do another one over here. So I'll just key this in, 3 8 or 3 7 5, whatever you feel comfortable with. <laughs> I don't have my decimals down pat. I'm working with smaller units and smaller drawings. So now, after this point, we want to get our constraint set, so we'll go from center to here. And this dimension is going to be 1.75, corresponding to that piece we made earlier, basically. A dimension here to here. Same thing. Okay. So now we have our circle done and our openings. So the next thing we want to do is we want to just draw a rectangle center point. I'm sorry, center, uh, center two point. There you go. And we'll bring this guy out and we know that the length of this is going to be seven inches. So I'm going to just say seven here. Okay. And now, on this side here, I'm going to see if this has got to be three. So I'm going to see if we have. Okay, let's change that to three inches. And that's about all we need for this. So at this point, what I want to do is I want to finish the sketch. I like to go into my 3D view. Then I like to hit the extrude. And I'll select this. Now, this height is going to be. This is a half an inch, so I'll change this to a half an inch right here and select OK. So now there's our beginning of our project or our part or our base plate. So now to do, what we want to do is we want to add those two, uh, these two sides here and here. So what we do for that, we'll just go in here and we'll just um, create a sketch. So I'll select this space and I'll select create sketch. I'll bring this back to top and I'll rotate it and I'll just do a, a rectangle two point from here and this is going to be I think this is also a half an inch. Let's see point five. Boom. Okay, so that's good. And then we'll go into my 3D view and we'll finish this sketch and we'll extrude this and we'll be going up. So we'll select this arrow. Whoop. Okay, and then um, that's it. We're good. We got this one inch high. Actually, no, it's one and a half inch. No, it's one inch. 
So I say OK. And then for the other side, we basically do the same thing here. Or you can get real, you know, you all you experts can do some other things you could show me. I'm not an expert in this. So we'll go here, we'll select this guy, and we'll create another sketch on the bottom face. And then I'm going to do a rectangle here, at this point. And this is going to be, again, half an inch. Whoops, sorry. Let's try that again. So from here to here, half an inch. OK, and then what I want to do here, I want to finish this sketch. Go to my 3D view, and I'm going to select Extrude, and that's all good. And I'm going to say OK. So now at this point, we have our feature, but we've got some holes in here. We want to place these holes. So I'm going to go over to this face now. I'm going to select it. I want to create a sketch. And I'll go right here in the right view. And here I want to, oops, sorry. I want to create two holes that we saw there. I want to put one right here. And these holes are half an inch. Okay. Now this one from this edge, I want to constrain this. So from here to here is 0.75. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is select the distance from here to here. That's close, 0.5. Okay, now at this point, we can do, we can just, just, just draw another circle here. And we can align it. And I'm going to go 0.5. And then I'm going to get its distance again. So from here to here, that's 0.5. We know we had. And then from this edge to this edge, 0.75. Okay, so there's that side. So what we want to do from this point, we'll finish this sketch. And we'll extrude, but this time we will cut. And we'll select this one and this one. And then I'm going to say OK. So now let's pick up the other side. You can just go and select this space. Right, select it and new sketch. And it's basically the same thing. I'll just quickly do this. I'll just copy or I'll just go and draw another circle. I'm going to align it with this one. Well, just draw a circle here, 0.5. And then I'll go along here and I'll just. Let's try in this one, and that's 0.75. We're slightly off there, and then I'll draw another one here. Hmm. 0.5. So let's constrain this one all the way. Finish this one. So from here to here. That distance is, no, we want to grab this distance from here to here. I think that's what we did the last time. Yep. And this is 0.75. Actually, this is a half an inch. Okay. That looks about right. And then this one, same thing. Now, I'm sure you can use the constraints and make this a lot quicker. Uh, sorry. Let me go from here to 
here. This is going to be 0.5. And I think at this point, we can finish our sketch. I'm going to go home view, and then I'll, well, I'll come over here. Let's finish this and we'll hit extrude and we default it to cut. And that way, we'll go over here, do the same. Oops, sorry, extrude. Okay. Sorry about that. So I guess I need to pick these both up. It's true. Here. And this is a cut. And here, another cut. And I'm going to go okay. So there you go, folks. There's our base plate. So what you should do is save this part. Uh, so I'm going to go and I'm going to change these materials. And it's just a matter of, uh, OK, it's a matter of, come on now, what's going on here? OK, so we're going to get galvanized. So here, you just select Extrusion 1 and highlight it in the, in the, in the picture and in the, in the, on the, in, in the uh, display window. And then we're going to say galvanized. And then we'll select the next extrusion. Probably shouldn't have to go through this. We all know how to do this by now. So I have to keep these videos short. <laughs> Nobody watches long videos. I know I don't. <laughs> and this is also going to be galvanized for the holes. Galvanized. Okay, folks. So thank you for watching. And there's our next part. So we want to file. We want to do a file. Save as. And we'll go. And this is going to be our base plate. And we're done. So, hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I'll see you in the next video. And please subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching again. Bye. Please be safe, everybody.